In this tutorial, I'll be going over the setup screen. Starting on the left hand side is the wizards. We can choose many different wizards to aid us in our production. We also have the option to have an on screen jog. We also can rotate our file by 45 degree angles or entering a specific amount. We can also rotate A, B, and C as well. Under our resize, we can choose to resize X, Y, and Z to specific values that you choose. By clicking on the keep aspect ratio, we'll then force the other axes to be proportional. By clicking on the fit to area, then we'll fit it to specific amounts that you entered in. You can also choose to move the machine to scale it. We're going to click on the move machine. And we're going to go to our offsets and click on zero all. Then what's going to happen is we're going to move the X and Y and then we're going to remove our height. So now we currently have 0 0.843, 3, and 3. We're going to tell it to fit to that particular area. We can also tell it to keep aspect ratio of a particular height. Now we're going to go into our record. Here we're going to want to clear out any file that is currently loaded. Click on the start record and start moving your axes to create your file. If at any time you want to pause that and create a rapid and then click on resume record and then do a pause record once you're finished and then do click on save. You can choose the name of the file that you want to save that as and you can also choose the location. Click on save. Then we're going to go to our files and load that in my file dot tap and there it is loaded if you'd like to reposition your part we're going to first come down to our tool path at the bottom and change our display mode to better demonstrate this let's say for example I want to grab my part at a particular point and move it I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more I'm going to grab it at that particular point click on drag from here I'm going to drag it to this portion of my machine and click move that particular part and it moved it to that location. I can also find the center of that particular part. I can also store the current position. It gets stored over here and then tell it to go to the last stored position and the machine will then move to that position. And that is the setup portion of the screen tutorial.